So we refer to the one giant mind technique as a being technique. And what that does is it first enables us to establish being so to then um, become aware of the witness. In the same way that Vedic meditation or transcendental meditation or Sahaja meditation, you know, there's, there's lots of different um, transcending techniques uh, that are all you know, loosely structured um, similarly. Um, and so um, we refer to the being technique uh, as a transcending technique, but it's not just transcending. You know, we're not just transcending, are we? When we, when we transcend, we transcend for a moment and then we come out, we purify. It's not accurate to just say it's a transcending technique. That's why we refer to it as a being technique because ultimately what it does is it establishes being. And, um, and so the one giant mind technique is um, a, 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 a technique that uses a universal mantra uh, that enables um, the mind to very gently move into that unboundedness of being. And, um, yeah, and so, you know, people often ask me, you know, why don't you just teach Vedic meditation? And I say, well, I do. I only teach Vedic meditation. And they say, well, why have you created um, one giant mind? You know, why don't you initiate um, lots of people in Vedic meditation, uh, as Vedic meditation teaches? And that is my long-term goal. Um, and it is working in unison with uh, an unrelenting pull in my conscience. And I seem to be unique in this way, maybe, um, or maybe not, but, um, you know, my position is controversial, and particularly within the Vedic meditation community, um, that um, it's difficult for me uh, to sleep at night uh, feeling the uneasiness of the planet, of, 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 of the collective consciousness, knowing that I have um, knowledge that um, is very uh, effective in liberating the suffering that is causing a, a swirling magnetic pull into a, like a self-implosion, a self-destruction mode. And we're watching it happen day by day now. We've got front row seats to something that could turn into a potential calamity. And I've been sensing this for a long time. And while I was exerting all my efforts and then non-effort, you know, invoking Ganesh, <laughs> Lakshmi, uh, all the big guns to assist in my plight in getting in front of people to give them Vedic meditation mantras. There was um, a, 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 a barrier that I, could, I could not continue to ignore. Um, and so I, I raised the question, is there something that could serve as a stepping stone that is more accessible, that could provide people with this experience and serve the need right now, which is to get people out of fight or flight and into a coherent state of cosmic consciousness, if only for a short time, to begin feeding the collective consciousness with the coherence that comes with this state of consciousness. Because this is ultimately the only thing that is going to cause transformation on the planet. Ultimately, everything that is going on in the planet is a consciousness-based problem. Um, well, requires a consciousness-based solution. Nothing else is going to, to resolve what's going on in the, on the planet. And so if we're not addressing it on the level of consciousness, then, you know, how are we going to resolve it? And like I said, it was, you know, me, and I was initiating and, and continue to, you know, initiate above average. Um, but still, nowhere near as many people as I would have liked to or that I, that I personally felt was going to shift the needle on what's going on in the planet. And so experimented and explored with, you know, structuring a technique in a particular way that would have the effect um, of establishing being. And um, in my experimentation, you know, have been so pleasantly um, surprised and um, by the effectiveness of what we now call the one giant mind technique in doing that, that then leads people into deeper inquiry. And it's a stepping stone. And, you know, 
you know, there, 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 there is a great argument against everything that I'm talking about, which, you know, I, uh, from a traditional standpoint, which I am completely open to and receptive to and, and let it wash over me. Every time someone presents it to me, I just, I hear it fully. I'm like, tell me it again. Yep. And I let it run over my consciousness and, and my conscience. And then I sit and I ask myself the question, do I drop it now or do I continue? And my conscience always just says, for now, you keep going. And so I do. And this is how I operate. You know, and I can tell you that it's, <laughs> it's cost me a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not making money doing this. You know, it's, it's, it's saber. And, um, you know, people say, oh, you know, you, he's doing it for this reason or that reason or this reason or whatever. And, you know, it, it's bought me... Uh, no notoriety, particularly amongst my peers, <laughs> the antithesis in many respects. It's, it, it, it's you know, I've invested, you know. So, you know, I'm, ob I'm obeying my final level of feeling. Like I said, you know, I listen, I listen to everything Tom said and I live uncompromisingly in accordance with his teaching. And it just so happens that I'm, <laughs> I'm operating outside of, you know, the... The, the instructions um, that, you know, have been more recently emphasized um, that weren't necessarily when I, when I was an initiator, you know, initiated, you know, none of this was on the cards, you know, an app and all of this. Um, you know, a lot of things became introdu introduced as a result of, you know, the work that I've been doing, you know, I think constraints. And I respect all of that. And I don't blur, blur the, the two. You know, I refer to myself as a Vedic meditation teacher. And I teach as purely as any other, you know, devoted Vedic meditation teacher would. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to call myself that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I, 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 I can live with the, with the complexity of my position, you know. And uh, it's, it's challenging in times because, you know, you want everybody to love you and, and <laughs> to like you and to, to at least have the, the, the time of day to, to even ask these questions you are of me now and to, to listen with an open heart. And, um, but, you know, that's not always the case. And, you know, I've, I've learned to live with that because what's worse, you know, not, not listening to my final level of feeling, you know, I, I, I thank, you. thank you for sharing that. And I, I, so many things came up. 